going on YouTube? All right, so we are at, I don't know if you guys can see, but I got both my trailers here. We're at my storage area. Don't want to show too much because I don't want to give it away. I mean, anyways, everything's locked up, but you know, come on. Anyways, but uh, one one small or two, two small modifications on the dump trailer. One that I messed up and I'm redoing. You probably already guessed it. Uh, there and there. So, and then another one where it helps just for safety reasons. So let's get right to it. One last sweep. Oh, look, a blade. All right, it's become obviously very apparent to me with dump trailers. There's one thing you can never have enough of, and it's hanging right here, is bungee cords. So I know I bought a bunch of them beforehand, but I needed to upgrade. Uh, these ones, I believe, are 20, 28 inch bungee cords, and they got the little eyelet right there. So, if I could find them, I bought them locally, but if I can find them online, I'll put a link in the description. But these things are pretty cheap, and you just need so many of them. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. So, you can see this is what I've been working with. They're getting worn out. I've had, I, bought, I think, about a dozen of them. Now I'm down to like two or three. So, I went and bought more of these because I think having the extra eyelet is going to absolutely help as far as tying stuff down because these can stretch these can stretch pretty far um so if you're in a market for a dump trailer just just go ahead and grab yourself a bunch of these a bunch of these so uh now the other thing is um i carry underneath the tool storage here i don't know if i can lift it up real quick but i carry not if there's a tool storage underneath this bed right here not for this, the spare tires spare tires around the corner and i carry i basically carry a toe strap and extra like a jumper cables that can reach my truck so if this battery ever dies so see, is it unlocked? it's unlocked so if this battery ever ever dies i can still jump it and dump, dump the load via my truck battery with my tow vehicle battery uh which is i kind of my uh i left this on a job site my my one of my customers uh tripped the brake switch because she was shoveling around and must have hit it or something so she sent me a picture why my brake lights on i was like don't worry about it. it's you know my um you, you trip the brake switch and it's just gonna drain the battery so yeah it sucks but uh i, re I recharged it and we'll see how you know lead acid batteries uh once you go all complete depth of discharge and kill the battery they're never the same but at the same time uh you know it's it is what it is it's working i tested it we're, we're holding voltage and it, it it charged up i did a trickle charge on it like five amps that's all that charger does actually so um, yeah, it's 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 fine for right now, but eventually down the road we're going to replace it. So the only thing else I recommend would if you're getting a dump trailer, make sure you get a big battery box so you can have maybe even two batteries just in case. Uh, and obviously the brake switch is for safety reasons. So all right, the next the mo next modification that I or the first modification I did, you can see right here, I put down uh, 3M sandpaper tape on these two corners because I'm tired of slipping and almost almost I'm busting my ass, but I almost did. So right there and right there, I just clean them up. And obviously I test them out a little bit and they're obviously very, you know, it's, it's sandpaper. So we'll see how it does. I'm, I'm not saying this is gonna last a season. You can see I just, there we go. We can throw that in there. All right, so you, can, I, you know, I'll probably have to end up taking them off and reapplying them every once in a while. We'll see how they last in the weather. Uh, I'm not saying they're, you know, waterproof or anything, but we'll see. Uh, 3M, they say, they say it's water resistant. So we'll, we'll put that to the test for sure. And uh, I did buy, I haven't replaced them all yet, as you can see on this side, but I did buy locking uh, nuts for these, grade 8 bolts, and washers as well for the sides. These are starting to fall out. I got one over here that's fallen out because I didn't buy these in the first place, which I knew, but they didn't have them at the time. I think I got one over here. I do have a replacement, but it's gone. So we'll replace those and uh, be done with it. Uh, that's, uh, that's your main... The main issue I had with them, but obviously, uh, if you're doing this right the first time, just buy them the first time and be done with it. But the, the wood itself is holding up great. I love it. I'm not going to put a thir uh, third tier up on the top just because I want to be able to keep throwing stuff over. And that's about as tall as I want to go with it. We're just just under 15 yards for this, so plenty, plenty. So and we got a full. We're gonna we're gonna be dumping this here soon. So um, definitely get yourself a retractable tarp. Uh, it helps out a lot. I know some of them don't but it's some places it's a law 
and make sure yours has it. So, but we got a full load here. We'll dump it and then put it onto the next job, next job site paying customer. So, I think that's about all I got on here, guys. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. I think this video is coming out in March sometime. So, happy March. And that's it.